and like buses, another Titzel, the Herbert, poorly. Um, I did a quick little check when the customer dropped it off. I no real output to speak of, so I did a quick check with. Wasn't pulling crazy ampage off the uh, Variac, so nothing screaming alarm bells there. But little, a very little output out of the master section. I did a jumper in the effects loop, took a feed from the send, and the preamp appears to be working. I'm not gone like super deep, but looking like there's a problem in the power section. Um, none of the fuses are gone. So what we'll do, we'll get it out and we will check the DC states. Just make sure everything's where it should be. Then we'll need to do, could be an output transform, we'll check. We'll just check all those basics to see what's going on, see if we can see anything and find out what's wrong with it. Let's get into the meat of it, open her up. Okay, before, right, I'm not gonna run, I ju just got this thing out of the um, head shell. Oh my God, does the thing weigh a freaking ton. I'm gonna do a visual inspection before I do anything before I fire it up again, really. Um, yeah, nothing untoward was showing on the uh, Variac. It wasn't pulling anything crazy, but yeah, something doesn't smell good. So, still, she's still very pretty. Anywho, right, I'll be back in a mo. So we've got the amp working. All well and good, but so doing the service and retensioning the valve socket. So I think in the early video, earlier in the video, you saw I was moving these two. I was getting all manner of pops and clicks. This one's okay. This one's still a problem. That one's okay. And my phase inverter's still a problem. So got to go back, retension, keep cleaning. You should be able to move any valve. Just give it a wiggle and there should be no noises. If you've got noises like this, so we'll again retension the sockets, clean them again a bit more. Also, I may reflow the um, solder where that socket's going into the PCB as well. So, yeah, that one's good. Not so good, not so good. So, a bit more work to go, but even through my shitty bench speaker. <laughs> Oh, excited. So, here we are back again. So it was the phase inverter in this one that was still noisy. Oh, you're still doing it. Phase inverter fixed. So, son of a bitch. Right, I've retensioned that all I can. So what I'm gonna do next, I will probably just reflow a little bit on that. Sometimes just a wiggle will be enough, but that obviously needs a bit more cleaning. But it's all good. Just that sod again. A bit different for a, a diesel. Most of you are expecting me to grab out the Explorer or the metal stuff. I want to explore this amp. As I'm sure some of you do, everyone plays metal and chuggy stuff through this, which we will do. Let's see what other stuff this can do. So everything's set straight up right now. Everything's 12 o'clock except the power section. This amp is 150 watts. Um, my sewer reactive load, I would say is good for 100. So we're gonna keep the master between nine and 10 o'clock. So we're not giving it the full beans. Uh, the presence and deep, I've got pointing at about between one and two o'clock, okay? but everything else is gonna be straight up the middle for now. So let's check out the clean tone. Big, let's give it, I'm gonna go bass and treble, one o'clock. I'll back the mid off a bit. I'm not quite sure like that.
Okay, as usual, the IR the impulse response I'm using um, in the Helix, my usual signal chain, is um, it's the EVH cab with um, EVH greenbacks in it. Um, my favourite. Mic's with an M160. <laughs> Well, that's a clean channel. There's not much there. I could bring the master volume down and crank that, but I think that's a really nice clean channel. Stick a compressor in front of that, have a little bit of drive. That's a really nice, that's a really nice clean channel. So, channel two, uh, let's start with the gain, there's off, let's give it about 10%, bring the master up to compensate. Oh fuck, there's the stick, bass, middle and treble, two o'clock, it all seems to work. <laughs> Like it needs a bit more gain. Let's go ten o'clock. Just a metal lamp. No way. This is a. What is it with diesels and channel twos? Jesus. <laughs> on channel two. <laughs>
I don't need channel three. I don't need channel three. I just need that. Anywho, channel three with the telly. Okay, channel three has got that kind of super saturated soldano y thing. <laughs> It's like, I don't know how he does it. It's almost fuzzy, but there's still no definition. It's I might be getting a bit of definition from the telly. Let's go to the SG with Duncan Antiquities. <laughs> Clean channel sounds cool with the SG. Uh, okay, low game mode, nine o'clock, channel to gain it. Amp, everything's in the preamp because at 150 watt power stage it's going to be it's going to be clean and, and extended but this feels like I'm playing through a, a loud plexi again <laughs> Channel 2 low gain mode, half gain, high gain mode. Yeah, that sounds very act almost. <laughs> Mother of Mary, just Mario Sepp. 
Channel 3. <laughs> Okay, that's enough on that. Should we get on to metal tones? Okay, back with Jackson with the JB in the bridge. Um, back on channel two, high game mode. I've got the game bang up at 12 o'clock. Treble, middle, bass, all at two o'clock. Now, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on using the same IR, which is the EVH 412. So no, no green, uh, we're not using vintage 30s. I might do that later. So this is where we were. I think it's kind of like having, a, I can liken it to the contour control on a Marshall valve state or what they call it dynamic voice in the um, boogie triaxis which was mimicking the graphic EQ. So it has an intensity control, kind of like the contour, and a level to compensate for the volume drop of cutting the mids. Um, and it's immensely fun. <laughs> This is like my rhythm tone with the mid cut in.
tuning EMGs. I say diesel herbert the second diesel i've ever played and oh, this one's better for metal without doubt compared to the einstein the einstein's channel to the the plexi marshally thing it did better i think from my memory i seem to remember that felt more like a marshall thing it still has a diesel thing and the diesel thing is this grind in the mid-range and a thump in the low end that I think if I took out every favorite aspect of Boogie's, Marshall's and Soldano you would end up with a diesel. This is fast becoming my perfect brand. Uh, don't get me wrong the, the studio pre will go nowhere but I, 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 I need a diesel in my life. Um, yeah Thank you for watching. If you've stuck it out to this point, you either already subscribed, um, but please hit like, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this amp because Jesus, I, I'm in love. Peter Diesel, you're a freaking genius. Um, I don't care how much they are. I think they're worth every penny. Amazing, amazing amp. Cheers, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.